intent at the injustice that's happening in the Trayvon Martin case, but really just the injustice that's rampant in the criminal justice system. Okay. The large number of black and Latino males and females that are incarcerated, and the criminal justice system that's really built off of poor black and brown people. And we know that. We know that if you're poor, you're more likely to be in prison, and if you're black and brown, you're more likely to be in prison. I'm here because a man was murdered. He was killed for no reason. He just went to go get some Skittles and a drink. It's sad because that could have been me. It could have been anyone of us out here. No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! Because this is not just about black and white people. This is about injustice everywhere. This is about the unfairness of the society. When is it justified that a man with a gun could chase a child with, his, with some Skittles and call it self-defense? Why is that a law? I hope some of these laws are revamped to where it's not where you could just chase someone down and you be the aggressor and you get off. I want the law to be revamped where you not just not just stand your ground but you defend yourself. You're not defending yourself chasing someone. You're aggressing the situation. Okay. Don't watch me. Don't watch the news. Be the news. Intent that you cannot build a nation based on the most vulnerable people in that nation. America is what. One of the wealthiest nations in the world, industrialized and has the highest, the highest, the highest number of incarcerated individuals in the whole Western industrial complex, and that's a problem. So what Trayvon Martin case symbolizes really is systematic injustice.